welcome and welcome back to our youtube channel in case it's your first time on this channel please consider subscribing hit on that uh, notification bell so that whenever we post anything you get notified we are on a journey to explore to go and explore Kampala old Kampala hill that is uh, Gaddafi or call it Uganda national mosque or call it the central mosque or call it old Kampala mosque just walk with us until we get there we explore the biggest mosque in East Africa just come over with me thank you very much smash the notification bell so that you get whatever we post here thank you very much yes in case you happen to come to uganda one of the spot uh, places you must visit is the old Kampala mosque or call it Gaddafi National Mosque or call it Uganda National Mosque it is at the old Kampala one of the seven hills that make up Kampala city and you can before you visit you have to um, to check with the Uganda Muslim Film Council tourism office which is just adjacent to that gate so they give you a guide and you can have an access to the minaret so that you can um, have a glimpse you can have a clear glimpse of the whole city and all the seven hills that make up Kampala city just walk with me and we'll explore uh, this wonderful um, structure in Kampala and the whole of Kampala city as we move up to the minaret thank you very much so we were two when me with one egyptian yes one egyptian explorer yes i can see oh tourist yes we were given this beautiful um tour guide before entering the mosque you have to leave your shoes outside so we left our shoes somewhere there so this is the male side of the mosque yeah that is the pulpit the pulpit where uh, the imam stands when giving uh, the sermon the friday sermon that is the pulpit then there is a grand quran there there's a grand quran uh, well covered in um, um a mirrored yes table yes that and uh, several other quran books are also somewhere there yeah the chandariyas are superb yes that is the interior of the mosque yes there is the mehrab or the member where the imam stands when leading the prayer yes and there is a uh, like the public address system yes and everything is really 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 superb we are told that the carpet was just changed the original carpet that was made from Libya was a lighter change. This one is from Turkey. Yeah, the original one was lighter changed. Actually, our um, tour guide um, preferred not to be in the camera. That's why uh, she's not she's not uh, um, not showing her in the camera. Yeah, but she t she was telling us she was explaining the history of uh, the mosque. Just listen attentively though the voice is all that is low but listen please so to wrap up what she was trying to to tell us that the idea the idea of the mosque was initiated by uh, the former president of the Republic of Uganda uh, his excellency um, Idi Amin Dada Yes, it a field marshal Idi Amin Dada, the one who initiated this and called upon his a longtime friend Muammar Gaddafi to help him and do this. So Muammar Gaddafi sent some um, some people from Libya to come and do a survey of the land and whatsoever. Then construction started yes and she explained that the architecture uh, was inspired by 
uh, the European style, like the European culture, the African culture, and the Arab culture. So that is how she was explaining. She told us the chandeliers and the designs are from Morocco. Mm, the timber was from Congo. Yes, and some other things from Italy. Yes, I think. Yeah. So that is, uh, she was explaining. Though the vice was all that down. Let us bear it. from Uganda is it so much well <laughs> the sun Uh, so from there we had to go the uh, the next floor for the ladies in Islam or in the mosque. Ladies have got a different part from uh, the main. They spray separate from the main. For uh, this Gaddafi mosque, ladies are on the uh, on the other floor, the second floor of the mosque. So we had to move up to them second floor where ladies uh, pray from yeah the spaces I mean the place is also spacious though not as big as that for the men so they sit this side um, uh, well the men are just down down there so this is uh, the part for the ladies yeah and there is latest technology there's a latest technology where I, I noticed there is a screen somewhere at this side of the ladies' uh, side. Yeah, the screen is somewhere there. Yes, I was told by the guide that this screen is for the um, yes, the deaf. The deaf when the uh, when the the imam is leading the prayer. Actually, when he's giving us someone, there's always a sign language expert in front. They are giving out um, the sign language for the deaf. So, it is broadcasted live on the screen here by this side of the ladies. Because for them, they cannot look straight down there. Yes. So, they have to, uh, they are advised to sit near that screen yeah that is another development for that yes Yeah. 
272 steps. From here? Yes. 272? Yes. From ground? 304. 304. Yeah, it's about 55 meters high. And the reason why every mosque has a minaret is because traditionally they used to go up to call for prayer, but not anymore because of technology. So they put only the speakers up? 